Hey guys, it's Pet Dude here. We're back for some more Let's Play. Hey guys, it's Pet Dude here. We're back for some more Let's Play. Astro Boy and Mega Factor. Last time we defeated those two guys. I forgot those other two guys' names. And in this episode, we're gonna take out this guy. All right. Okay, come here. Do it. Okay, keep all right, keep on the strategy, keep it on. Thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, just keep doing that. All right, come on. This guy is easy. All right, stop doing that. You're just in the delaying the inevitable. Holy. Oh, I wasted that. Wow. Okay, I kind of jinxed myself there. <laughs> oh, man. I'll see you guys in a second. You guys know you guys know the fight against this guy. I don't really need to show it again. Oh, I almost did it without being getting hit. Whatever. You're done. Oh, I almost beat him without taking a hit. Damn it. Whatever. I did it. Oh, is that you, Astro? What a guy. By the way, can you tell me what is the hidden treasure of Moo? Is it in any way connected with the death mask? Since you saved my life, I, know, I will tell you what I want to know. One day, I heard a voice inside my head for some ancient god. For some ancient god? Yes, it was unnatural, yet it seemed to speak to my heart. It compelled me to do bad things, and when I did them, it worked out well. Could it be Shiraku's telepathy? How'd you know the ancient god's name? You're right, though. The name that, sp that spoke to me was Shiraku. He told me that ancient power of Mu was hidden, underground somewhere in Cir a Circaform Island. But all I found from that ancient island has been Pook. Afterward, he discovered the Blue Knight. I don't think there's a connection with the Death Mask, but he he didn't believe me. And I, oh, damn it, I skipped that. I want to thank you for all what you've done. You saved a villain after all. No need to thank me. I'm only doing what's right. Okay. Might as well fully upgrade my shots as well. Or my uh, jets. So you have come, Astro, I cannot understand your actions. Why do you insist on protecting humans? Isn't that what we're doing the right what thing bleh. isn't what we're doing the right thing to do? No! You both let hate crowd, uh, cloud your judgment. You both must see reason to stop this. Shut up, you traitor. Traitor? I am no traitor. Oh, that drained my health. Oh, that drained my health. That's sweet. 
Alright, we're getting close to the end, guys. Oh, don't do this. How do you avoid that? Can you please tell me? Can you please tell me? Because I would love to know. Thank you very much. This is kind of bullcrap. And holy crap lag. Ah. Jeez, what's with this lag? Is it this air is it this area? I mean it's not lagging in the game, but in the recorder it's ridiculous. Yeah, it must be like the area. Yeah, whatever. Hey, you're already dead. Come here. You are already dead. Ow. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this. How do you avoid that? Please tell me. Please tell me. Because seriously, I just can't... Whatever, I'll, sh I'll see you guys in a sec. Because this is really dumb. There you go. Ha ha ha. I defeated ya. Oh man. <sighs> You're the one who created the death mask. What? My company was secretly making a death mask in the moon planet, but my orders came from Duke Red. It's not possible. Duke Red? He supported Robots from the very beginning. He can't possibly do this. If you think I'm lying, then that's Deuce Red. You'll need to find him, though. This was our secret, and the reason why I need to hide Daichi. Death Mass is an artificial planet that emits a cosmic ray call called Omotanium. This machine can destroy the electronic brain of any robot instantly. It really is the ultimate weapon to destroy all robot kind. But Duke Red hid the Death Mass I created somewhere in space. Even I don't know its location. I'm sure it's for my own good. It's probably be in danger if I knew. Duke Red. Why? How could he do this? I don't know, man. I don't know. Alright, with some epic music. Stop, Astro. How can you call yourself a robot when all you ever do is take side of the humans? Zoran. Stay out of this, Zoran. Astro has already decided to fight. Pluto! Astro, I, all I understand is fighting, so I cannot un follow your logic. But I know your belief is strong enough that you sacrifice your life for it. I know this because I am willing to sacrifice myself for my own beliefs, but I don't think humans could do such a thing. But enough prattle. Action speaks louder than words, so come on, let's see who's right. Are you ready? Oh, damn it. I'm gonna retry real quick.
I'm gonna retry again. <laughs> God damn it. Damn you! <laughs> uh, stop retrying, God. Freaking pack. Stop it. You freaking takes my arm cannon like a champ now. Holy crap. I can't do anything about that. I'm screwed. This is gonna be tough, guys. What if Zorin's the final boss? Oh my gosh, that'd be a twist. How did that hit me? Like, seriously? Okay, I'm gonna get... Yep, it's caught coming. I had a good start there, but Okay, concentration mode. Dom it! Dom it! Dom you! Dom this game! Dom! Dom! Ugh, that was annoying. I bet that annoyed the hell out of you guys. Because I know it annoyed me. And I'm the one who made that damn sound. Dude! Okay. This is my chance right here to get some good damage in on him. Now get out of here. All right, come on. Oh, that's so cheap. Alright, this is pretty much the only... Now he's gonna use his tornado. Yep, knew it. Knew it. Damn it. No, 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 Ugh.
Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? Yes! 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 Finally! Let's go! Yes! Finally! Good lord! Oh, you guys have no idea. And I whooped him that time. I barely took any damage. Oh, you are magnificent. You bested me. You truly are the mightiest robot. I'm sorry we had to fight Pluto. You defeated all of the world's strongest robots. I never thought that Pluto could be defeated. I must avenge him. You must fight me now, Astro. Wait, Astro didn't destroy Pluto. He just disabled him. What? Me too. He could have destroyed me, but he didn't. Me three. Me four. Me five. The power has demonstrated in battle was just a small portion of his abilities. I guess the phrase, the world's strongest robots, doesn't apply to us. Blue Knight, this is a lost cause. Pluto. Astro spared our lives, even though he didn't have to. So please, listen to him. Besides, we're no longer in condition to fight the humans. I never imagined it would be this way. So Astro, what is it that you want to do? I will not only stop Death Masks, but Drake as well, so I ask you not to attack any humans. Do you really think you can stop them? You may not believe me, but I can transcend in time. I will travel through time and change the future of humans and robots. It's getting clearer. Duke Red. Duke Red is the key to all this. I'll find him first. Astro. Zorin, I have to go. Please stay with Pluto. Wait, there's something I have to tell you. Nuka is in Antarctic. I think Duke Red is there too. How do you know that? Do you remember when Nuka came to our house? She whispered a secret to me. She told me only to tell you when the time was right. I really didn't know what she meant before, but I think I do now. It's now. Astro, please go there and find Nuka. Thank you, Zoran. Hey, Astro Vanish. I guess he really can trust in time. Astro, I love you. Okay. Okay. You may be thinking, Cliffhanger? Nah. This is not the end. I'll see you guys in the next episode, alright guys? Take it easy.